Good morning everyone, Egan Nostalgia here. Like always, out in my beautiful shooting range, nice and early in the morning, out in Kanpeke. Um, today I'm going to be doing a, a shot group from around 26 meters, which is around 30 yards. Um, but today we're doing something different. Um, I've got a new toy. Um, my new rifle arrived two days ago. So first day off work, so I've got a bit of time to, to test it out. Um, as you probably saw from my last video, the, my new gun is a Diana 48, um, which is pretty special to me because it was actually the first proper air rifle I bought in South Africa, which I sadly had to sell to come traveling. So I always wanted to get this gun back in my collection. Um, so here it is, in all its glory, my beautiful Diana 48. Um, beautiful, beautiful gun, pretty heavy. Um, <laughs> it's probably a bit heavier than the Virox that I had before. Um, Over-engineered, like always, beautiful German quality. Um, I've popped a Hawk Vantage 9 to 12 scope on here, which is a pretty entry level scope, but I tend to always go for a really good um, scope mount. So I've got the Sports Match um, damper, which is a really good mount I say to have on any type of springer because it really eliminates all of that kickback and um, it keeps your scope good. You know, I've, I've shot powerful springers before and I've never had a problem with any of my scopes, and I think it's down to that I'm using a good damper mount, which obviously um, it's got like a rubber. It's got a rubber pad between the mount and the scope, which actually allows a bit of flexibility when the, the gun shoots. Um, but back to the gun. So, gorgeous gun. Um, it's around 4.2 kilos, uh, with the scope probably about 4.5 kilos. Putting that into Perio pounds, I'm not too sure, but I'm sure someone can point that out for me. Um, but yeah, overall quality of the gun is really good. This is the, um, as I said, it's the Diana 48. So it is the, the, it's made in Germany. Interesting to see this gun is actually was made in 2017, so it's six years old. Um, I got it on a website in Spain called Black Recon. Um, I'll try and put the link in the description below. Um, Black Recon, a pretty good arm, uh, gun shop here in Spain. And um, I got this gun on a really good deal. Generally speaking, it goes for around um, 520, 530 euros. And I got on a discount for around 400, 470 euros, so probably around two dollars, about 500 US dollars. Um, as you can see, bluing is amazing. The f general quality of the gun is amazing. Um, really top quality iron sights. Um, you can see the barrel too, really well finished off. Um, so a quality gun in all its way. Um, obviously, I've probably put three or four shots through this gun so far, just doing the crony test, and I've uh, sighted in the scope. So you know, this gun is still brand new out the box. Um, haven't done any real cleaning on it um the trigger is the new trigger from diana it's called the uh, t06 which some people do compare it a bit to the record trigger um i'm still getting used to it i do need to adjust it um it is a fully adjustable trigger um in fact i think it's one of the triggers where you can adjust the most um at the moment the first stage is quite short which i like but there's a bit of um creep between the um, the first and second stage which i need to to take out but other than that it's still very smooth and it's a really nice trigger um it's got a pretty light pull weight but um but yeah, I just need to adjust it because I don't like there to be too much creep between the, the first and second stage. But again, it's not bad creep, it's very smooth. But um, I'm just so used to the, the Viroc triggers, which are the record triggers, which are really, really good. Um, so yeah, this gun is in 4.5. Um, the reason for that being is, you know, I tend to do target shooting. Um, I'm not a hunter. So um, in fact, in Spain, hunting is completely legal with air rifles. So, you know, I want a, a nice flat trajectory. So doing a 4.5 just made a bit more sense. Um, as I said, you know, I haven't cleaned the barrel. I haven't done anything to this gun. It's just literally shooting out the box. So it probably will um, loosen up um, as I go along. But the operation does seem very smooth. At the moment, I've tried a few pellets. Um, I'm currently using the Barracuda, the H&N the Barracuda. Um, but I'm also trying the, the exact as well, the, the JSB exacts, 8.44 grains. But at the moment, you know, it's shooting the Barracudas um, pretty well. And it's shooting them at around 300 meters a second, which is quite quick. Um, giving me just under 25 joules. Um, as the gun wears in, this will probably loosen up and I'll probably get a bit more velocity out of that. But for me, you know, 25 joules, um, legal limit here in Spain is actually 24. Um, it's giving me around around 20 foot pounds, which for me is more than adequate for target shooting. So let me, we're going to do a quick grouping. Um, again, I'm not expecting too much. I've just sighted the scope in. Um, I'm going to be doing the, um, the Barracudas. Um, as I said, this is a side lever cocking action, so it's a bit different. It's quite unique. Obviously a fixed barrel. And uh, let's see how we get along. I'm going to put, say, three or four shots downrange at around 26 meters, which is about 36 yards. So let's see how we go. I'm going to do this quite quickly. I don't want to bore you. As you can see, a nice smooth operation there. It's got a ratchet system underneath the gun, which actually is a, probably one of the best safeties I've ever seen because it's literally metal on metal. So 
it goes underneath the, um, the sliding cylinder, which actually, look, you can't put it back. You have to press it, leave it down here. But you can hear that nice smooth operation. It's still giving quite a kick <laughs> because it is still kicking in. But yes, here we go. It's got safety here, push back. It's got quite a kick. I'm sure probably this gun in, um, in 2.2 will probably be a, a good powerful Magnum, probably up there with the Viroc HW80. As I said, you know, to fund my, my field target, I actually end up selling my HW80 for the new scope, which I'm kind of disappointed about now, but, but nice to have a good powerful Magnum in my collection again. Always forget there's no safety. Definitely a bit of a workout for the abdominals, I can tell you that. As I'm just shooting off the bag, shooting quite quickly here. Even though I need to adjust the trigger a bit, it's still a very, very smooth trigger. There's not actually proper creep in a sense. There's just a bit of movement, smooth movement between the two stages, which I'm going to eliminate later. But this TS6 has got a pretty good reputation. So look, not a shot. Okay, perfect. Let's have a look. Okay, so that group actually didn't look too bad, to be honest. Um, I was shooting it pretty quickly. I'm still getting used to this gun. Um, it's a different beast. It definitely has a bit of a kick. Um, it's a bit of a workout. But let's see. So this was at... 25, 26 meters, around 30 yards. And this was four shots. Wow, okay. That's not too bad, to be honest. Um, wow, okay. I'm gonna do some more groups after that just to make sure that wasn't fluke, but we've got four shots. Pretty much going through the same hole. So we've got four shots under my fingernail at 30 yards. That's not too bad. I must say, I'm actually quite impressed because I'm getting used to this trigger. It's completely different to my Viroc. Um, as out the box, I would put the, the Viroc trigger as being a better trigger. It just seems to be a lot more smoother. Um, well, this is smooth, but it's definitely, it needs a bit of adjusting, but still a good trigger nonetheless. Um, pretty happy with that. So, wow. So definitely as I venture into this, I'm going to clean up the barrel now. Um, I'm going to adjust the trigger um, and I'll do a bit of gentle work on the gun. I don't think it needs too much, but, uh, but yeah, that's a bit of insight into my new rifle. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, take lots of care. Enjoy your Saturday. Have time, fun with your families. And uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.